hello hello everybody hello out there in youtube land and every every other land out there that this video will wind up i did want to come to y'all and talk to y'all about the message of tonight is dating why is dating why can dating be so hard why doesn't it last long and how, moving from dating into an actual relationship that's what i want to come to y'all and talk to y'all about now you know a lot of people have been talking to me my friends will come and tell me oh you know i'm having a hard time you know they people are not wanting to be committed to me anymore and i'm like hmm I, 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 I don't, I, I don't know, I think it's a matter of what you allow, what you accept, and who you're going after. Are you dating the same type of people? Are you trying something different? That goes back to my necessary question, if you still have a type. But anyways, we'll get into that. So, I think my thing is, like I said before, I think people, they're, 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 they go, the reason why people are always dating and most dating, hell, you're lucky if you make it three to five business days these days. And I'd be like, oh, you still talk, they're talking and such and such. No, it didn't work out. And I'm like, oh, and I'm already talking to somebody new. And I'm like, how do y'all do this? Like, it takes me forever to find one person that I actually like, find attractive, want to sleep with, have a mutual soul, uh, a mutual respect for them that I actually want to text them all day long or, or, or cuddle with them, watch movies with them, take time out of my day because I like to sleep and, and go see them. So I just be like, how do y'all be finding all of these people? And then I had to sit down and I was like, okay, Tristan, think about it. These people, they're chasing after this butterfly effect. It's, it's about, oh, well, it's not like it was in the beginning. And it's kind of like, oh, once that's over, I got to go find somebody new. Y'all need to stop chasing after this, this, this newness. Because it's, it's, it's eventually going to wear off. Oh, he's not the same anymore. No, he is the same anymore. He's just not who he was in the beginning. Because I got used to each other. And it's, 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 you want something new. And then it goes back to this online situation. The grinders, the jacks, and the, 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 all the rest of that stuff is, is, is. I wonder what it would be without that kind of stuff as to how. You can kind of be single or you can kind of date these days. And it's kind of like, oh my gosh, I don't have to be tied down to one person. And, that's, and it's, it's, it's always... Why can't people say that in the beginning, I guess? Because there's always going to be that one person who they want to date. And they're going to be with this person who thinks that they want to date. So they start talking and, oh my gosh, I like you. And... One person is kind of like, yeah, I like you too. And then the other person is like, yeah, I like you, but my butterfly effect is over. We've been texting. We've sent news. Maybe y'all slept around and, you know, they got what they wanted. And it's time to move on to the next person because the butterfly effect is gone. So, I guess this video could be about how to get past that butterfly effect and keep that but well the butterflies are gonna be there forever but y'all have to learn to okay we did that the newness is over what's the next step and y'all have to quit thinking that fucking is going to get fucking you know sex only gets you so far and it's kind of like I get tired of hearing about that. Like, oh my God, we have good sex. And I'm like, okay, so what do you like about him? Nobody never has a question. 
oh, he's cute and, you know, he works. and But what do you like about him? What's his childhood background? What scares him? What's his favorite movies? What's his favorite music to listen to? What's his favorite food? And I'm like, oh. nobody can never give me a question. And I'm like, y'all are not sitting down actually getting to know anybody anymore. Y'all are just like, okay, got your number. Let's send nudes. Let's fuck. Let's chill. The end. Y'all gotta stop this shit. Y'all gotta stop this shit. Stop chasing after this newness. Stop thinking that the grass is gonna be greener on the other side because clearly it's not. Because y'all keep going from situation to the next to situation to the next to situation to the next. I need... I, me... I guess at a young age, I seen other people go through that, and I started. I, see, I dated somebody young at an older. At a, at a, I dated somebody old at a younger age, so I kind of had an experience of, you know, getting my heart broken at a young age and knowing what I didn't want and I dealt with that person for a couple of years from the time I was like what like 16 17 or whatever till I was like 20 something 21 and so I'm only 25 now but I just always knew okay when you actually get out of this you're gonna know that this is not something that you want and you want to spread the message out to other people to not do that either um I think a lot of y'all, back to the type thing, y'all are into something, into this person that y'all want to be perfect. He's got to have this shit on your list. He's got to have a good credit score and y'all aren't willing to work. You have to be willing to come together to become a whole. If, if, if y'all would be willing to, okay, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Let's come together and work on each other together. Let's be good together. I think people have lost the sight of that. And get off your fucking phones. Get off your fucking phones. Y'all are sitting here. Now, I'm guilty of that, too. That's something that I need to work on. Get off of your phones. We got to get off our phones. You go on dates. Leave the phone in the car. Y'all laying in bed watching the movie. Put that phone down. Put that phone down. I'm just saying. Y'all got to find something because... I really be wanting to know, I always ask people, what do you think it is? And it's kind of like, oh, I just think everybody's full of shit. No, they're not. And, you know, as a single person, if, if the same thing keeps happening to you, Maybe it's you, and like I said, maybe you need to find something else and switch it up and date the kind of, date the, uh, switch the, the people that you date, where you're meeting them, how you're meeting them, you know, give somebody a chance, somebody that that person has been in your DM for a while, give that person a chance. I think y'all are look, y'all are trying to create a soulmate in, instead of letting your fo your soulmate find you. You cannot create a soulmate. It's not going to happen. Y'all are trying to create a soulmate, trying to create, chase after newness. And it's like, it doesn't work like that. It really doesn't. I, I wish it did, but it doesn't. 
I just want to be. I just want to encourage everybody who who's dating you know, out there in a the single world, who you know, quit speaking bad stuff in your life too, and saying, "Oh, I'm gonna stop dating. I'm never gonna find anybody." Yes, you will. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why because my one of my friends, you know, Jason. Jason used to say stuff like that, and I was all I was always be on his ass about that shit. Quit saying you're not gonna find anybody because you're speaking bad stuff in your life, and he quit saying that, and he started to believe that maybe one day he would find somebody, and now he's happy with somebody, genuinely happy with somebody, and I'm happy. Uh, you know, Jason, if you're watching this, congratulations to you on your relationship, you and your boyfriend. Um, I hope you you and him are happy with each other and I hope it works out but yeah that's my advice be careful what you speak into your life and your love life your personal life any any sort of situation in your life because if you're saying oh maybe it's me I'm not never gonna find a man and say okay so that's what the last one said he didn't like that so I'm gonna work on that for the next I don't know. I'm just saying. It could work. Things could work out. But we've got to be willing to come together as people and say, okay, let, 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 let's, I'll give you a situation. If you're dating somebody, y'all are going through a rough patch. Maybe no matter what it is. Um... I don't know. Maybe it's that dry spell. And every relationship has them. You know, every every relationship does. But people just need to figure out how to get over that. Because a lot of y'all be breaking up. And it don't have to be. You don't have to be breaking up. Because like I always keep saying. Y'all are not doing nothing but starting over. Everybody has bullshit with them. Why would you want to go start over with somebody to do the same shit over again? You might as well stay where you at. I'm just saying. You know, I'm not a relationship guru. But, I'm just saying. Try it out. You want to date somebody that's yours. Try it out. It's okay to fall in love, too. Y'all need to quit being so afraid of love. It's okay to love. It's okay to be in love with somebody. It's okay. It's okay to tell somebody you love them. This generation has gotten so... I don't have no feelings. Bitch, you better get some. It's okay to have feelings. It's okay to be in love with somebody. It's okay to want somebody. It's okay to say you got your heart broken. Move on. Let's let's move on. Call me. If your heart is broken, please call me. Reach out to me. Call me. I'll be your shoulder to cry on. I'll walk you through the steps on how to move on. I love helping people move on from an old relationship because it's probably something that you can work on. It's, it's not you because I'm pretty sure you're thinking it's you or it's, it's, it's everybody that you're dating. You're not made out of the day. Call me. But I do just want to come in here and talk to y'all about that and give y'all some encourage, encouragement and a message. Get out there and date and don't be afraid. If one situation doesn't work out, move on to the next and fix what didn't happen in the last one. I'm out of here. I may come in here and talk to y'all about something else, but um, yeah, I'm out of here. Have a good, enjoy the rest of your night. Bye.